So I just bought a bunch of lots of miniatures on eBay, and it's time to start going through them. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time. I'm Dave, this is Quarter Bash, doing some videos about miniatures. Three videos about miniatures, because I have three boxes of miniatures here. So, what happened was, I won a bunch of auctions on eBay. I'm always looking, I have certain things I look for, and, well, these didn't all look good. They all looked good to start, they all ended a little bit differently. Basically, these represent three different types of things, situations that occur when I'm looking for miniatures. One of them is, I'm pretty certain, a good buy. I'm going to make money on it. Another one is more of a personal buy. I probably would have bought this regardless, and I may not sell the miniatures in this box. I might. We'll see when we get to it. And then the other one... This big bad boy here, I don't know how well you can see it. I paid too much for this. I got caught up in the auction. And I don't know from the images exactly what's in it. I know some of the things. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make my money back. And making my money back isn't enough. I need to make profit. That's what this one was for. I don't know if it's going to happen. So we're going to have to learn with this one. Let's take a look at what we're going to look at today. All right, the first box we're going to go through, box number one. Here's a story with this one. So I took a look at this auction, and you know what? The price was right. It was, it was pretty low. The shipping price was decent. And I thought, you know, there's a, a number of miniatures in here that I don't really care about. They're just kind of average miniatures. It's nice to lot them up and sell them, and people can use them in-game. but they're not, they're not spectacular. They're not like the really cool raw Partha AD&D era, like late 80s, early 90s stuff that I look for. But there's robots in this. You see these robot looking ones? These are Battletech miniatures. And if I'm right, these are early raw Partha Battletech miniatures, a thing they call unseen because they lost the rights to produce miniatures in those styles because they were based on Japanese robots that they didn't really have the rights to. And they had to take them out, and even though they still existed in the game, I don't know a lot about it. I know people use the term unseen, and I know a lot of these robots were things that I had seen in like Japanese animation in the 80s, and then they were in Battletech, and then, then they weren't. And if you buy the currently available Battletech miniatures, you're not going to get these, or at least some of these. I'm not sure if that's always the case. The trick is this. These are generally worth a decent amount of money. Some of them are worth a good amount of money, maybe $20 or more per miniature. We'll find out. I'm not really sure because these aren't the best photographs. I'm hoping that uh, they are what I think they are. But I felt like for the price that I got this one for, this was a good gamble. I'm not worried about it. I think I'll make my money back. So we're going to go. We're going to open this one up and take a look at it and see how I did. All right, let's do this. Don't cut towards yourself, they say. It seems pretty nicely packed. Oh, okay. All right, so the, the case, the wooden case that was in the, the picture was part of the auction. That's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that.
didn't move around too much. Okay. Look at that. Nice. All right, you know what? They did a nice job. Bubble wrap on the inside and the outside, although they didn't really need to protect the case too much, but they did do a good job. So let's see what's what's here. That guy's nice. Grenadier. Oof. I don't know how well you can see it. His sword is bent right over the top of his head. That's too bad. This sword is bent badly also. So some of the weapons on these, at some point these were shipped really poorly. Not really this time. I think it was maybe wherever they came from. All right. Rawcliffe Pewter. This kind of base, I believe this is a Superior Models miniature. Some kind of cool older miniatures here. I wasn't expecting really to care much about any of these, but some of these are nice. There's a Royal Partha Gandalf type. There's a Grenadier Ninja. Grenadier Miniature. Oof, this has a, a hexagon base, and he's blowing a horn, but the horn is so bent it's about broken off, so I won't try to do anything with that. Here's an interesting old wizard with a red cape. I don't know what, what company made that. More Grenadier miniatures. <laughs> this one is pretty mangled. Ah, it's a little satyr. I think he's Raul Partha. The Grenadier dude. The hex base miniature. These hex base ones are interesting. I don't remember off the top of my head which companies made hexagonal bases. Grenadier, Grenadier Archer, Custom Cast, oh, it's an old Custom Cast Orc, Grenadier guy with an axe that's just about to break off, there's some kind of a maiden, another hexagon guy. It's a weird Grenadier miniature. Wow, really strange one. 10th anniversary, 1975. This is weird. 1975, 1985, 10th anniversary figure of some sort. That one's interesting. Never seen that before. Interesting old one. There's some kind of witch with an owl or something. It's nice. All right, broken weapon of some sort here. And this great old Raul Partha Etten. Um, looks like it's supposed to be holding something. Oh, I have to assume it's the victim that it's holding. So that is a very nice miniature. I really, I'm really impressed with that one. I'm not sure I've ever had that guy before. Okay. Everything else in here now are the robot miniatures that I thought were Battletech. Raw part of Battletech. I am hoping I'm correct on this. Even though these have been better than I expected, pretty happy with these. These are the ones that were the reason for me to buy. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Raw Partha, and I do recognize this guy. I've seen him before. He is Battletech. Also Raul Partha, kind of the same pose. 
Yep, brought Parth in 1986. Brought Parth in 1987. I'm pretty sure this is his backpack. I have always loved the design on this miniature, this particular mech. Oh, this guy's a little, his weapon's a little bent. I hope I can bend it back out without breaking it. This one, yeah, I don't know. Might be a little, a little newer than these other ones. Also well part of that. And I assume this arm goes here on this guy. And then it seems to only have one arm and then some random weapons. I don't know where these weapons go exactly. So unfortunately this one seems to be incomplete i'm not too thrilled but whatever all right so there it is this is the buy that i felt was a good buy i thought that i was doing doing well for the money that i spent on this one and uh well let me let me get the camera down here and show you uh show you what it looks like all right so what we have here most of these are older, um, kind of odd, like superior models, custom cast, whatever these hexagonal ones are. Just some uh, some older kind of random company miniatures. Then as we get into here, a lot of these are Grenadier. They've got thicker bases. They all seem to be about from the same time frame. Uh, I'm going to go through and individually find some of these on Lost Minis and try to highlight them. Then a few Raw Partha miniatures, and then this, this guy right here. Let's move him up. Fantastic Raw Partha. All right. So, yeah, that's it for box number one. Video number one we will come back tomorrow or the next day, or, or if these are already uploaded, just right now, if you just want to click on the next video. And we'll do box number two. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. And see you soon.